Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus. This is Dana. Happy New Year. Woohoo! I'm excited. I'm excited. New Year's Eve, right around the corner, 2024. Not that time and all of that actually really means anything, but in our understanding of what it is, it's awesome because 2024 is about to start. I hope everybody's doing absolutely phenomenally fantastic as we enter into 2024. Let's see what the cards have to say for Taurus for the next little bit. Depends on who you are and how much you participate, but we'll see what they have to say, all right? So it's going to work like it always works. I'm gonna shuffle and pray. I will lay out at least 15 cards. I'll talk about them as I clarify them. I'm gonna confuse the heck out of you for just a second, and I'm gonna sew together a story that I'll read to you from top to bottom, all right? So everybody, let's get focused. Focused, okay, focused, focused. Spirit, source, universal <laughs> energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit, and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus coming up in this new year, and what does Taurus need to know about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what is coming towards the Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate in the direction of their very best and highest good? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, the words to explain it. Boom. Let's go. Can you guys see all that? All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the King of Swords in reverse. Interesting. The King, uh, the Prince of Swords in the upright and the Queen of Cups. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. First card out, Princess of Wands in reverse. Okay, so some kind of lack of ambition, desire, motivation, the death in reverse, some kind of inner transformation, sometimes a resistance to change. The Four of Cups, contemplation, reevaluation, a little bit of stubbornness going on there, so maybe it is a resistance to change. The Ace of Wands in reverse, just like that Princess of Wands in reverse that led the, the row, right? It's a lack of desire or a lack of motivation. And the Ten of Wands is some kind of burden the devil, an attachment that's a restriction to your growth or something that is toxic to your life, maybe even yourself. Princess of Cups in reverse goes with that Princess of Wands and the Ace of Wands in reverse. It's just like this, this inability to, to get something going. The world in reverse, there's a, a cycle repeat, a blockage perhaps. The Chariot in reverse, definitely a blockage, right? And Two of Swords at a crossroads, more blockage. The Ace of Cups, some kind of feelings. The Ace of Swords in reverse, some kind of, don't know. The Eight of Pentacles to the Princess of Swords. So working, communication, thoughts. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Keep doing what you always done. And the Fool, there's a different way, there's a better way. The Two of Pentacles, balance, prioritize this way. Six of Wands in reverse, stop struggling on the inside. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Lovers. Okay. All right, let's make some sense out of all of this, yeah? Let's see what the heck these cards are saying to us. Justice trying to show itself right there. Let's see, which is always in your best interest. It's being accountable, and it's in your best interest. So, justice. All right, so there's a big old lack of motivation going on here. And there's the devil, which is an issue, right? And the world in reverse in the center of the reading. All right, interesting. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, what's happening here, Taurus, 
is this. Okay? This is what's happening. So, 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 so. Okay, there's someone here. First of all, I was intention, my intention was set towards this new year, this new turnover. Okay, this new, new, right? It's winter, winter solstice was just a little bit ago, right? And as we move through January and February and then March comes along and April, spring starts to spring where I'm at in April and the summer comes and the cycle continues, right? So new year, transition, winter, shut down, spring, birth, okay? All right, so there's a person, this person, this reading is for someone who is having a hard time getting something going in their life. It's someone who is downtrodden in a way, okay? So the Princess of Wands in reverse, this is a lack of action, a lack of effort, downtrodden, okay? Death in reverse talks about um, an internal personal transformation that needs to be made because there is a resistance to the change that is trying to happen in your life because there needs to be some some real estate cleared so the universe, okay, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, can take you to where you need to go. So the new year can roll in and the divinely orchestrated steps of your life can be shown to you and the whole thing can begin to focus and grow for the spring, okay? And I really feel like this whole reading is about what needs what's going to I think that this is going to happen in the spring and they're telling you now so you can begin to gear up and get ready okay so the wheel is in reverse there's a blockage the universe can't do what it needs to do for you because you're not participating the princess of wands in reverse is about a lack of effort okay the wheel in the upright wants to spin for you the universe wants to take you to exactly where you need to be to do what it is that you came here to do. Not necessarily take you where you think you want to go, but it wants to take you in the path of your best and highest good, okay? Death in reverse. But we need we need a, a, an, an internal transformation to happen for you. Um, Look, Princess of Swords in reverse and the Hangman in reverse is, is what I got for death in reverse, right? Page of Swords in reverse is all talk, no action, undelivered promises, empty seed bed in your mind, and the Hangman is just hanging there, right? And it's time to take a step back and get a new perspective so you can flip this Wheel of Fortune in the upright and the universe and you can be on the same page, going in the same direction, trying to accomplish the same things, okay? All right, Four of Cups, you're, you're taking too long, okay? You're, you're just, maybe you don't know what to do. Maybe you have a lot of different choices. Maybe you're in limbo, limbo kind of, and you just don't know what the heck it is that you're gonna do with yourself um, in, in your future. Hence the Ace of Wands in reverse, right? Downtrodden, a lack of motivation. Ten of Wands, and it's a burden for you. Page of Pentacles, to be able to manifest like this. It's like dry, barren ground, and you're like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do um, in this coming year. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do about a si situation, circumstance, person, place, thing. The Seven of Cups in reverse, this is diversionary tactics. This is not making, not focusing on options, choices, and decisions. It's like doing anything but what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Five of Pentacles, and maybe it's uh, affecting your bank account. Maybe you're broke. Maybe you are dragging your feet about leaving someone out in the cold. Perhaps, perhaps. If this was your reading, if these were your cards, we'd be able to dive into all of this and pull out all of the details about everything, but I don't know what this is about. So it's definitely a place of insecurity in your sense of well-being, whatever that means for you, okay? It's a burden, can't manifest. Uh, the universe is saying we need you to participate here. We need you 
to pay attention to what it is that you're creating in your life because you're blocking us from showing you the way that you're supposed to go. Okay, look, the emperor, get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself, take control of yourself. Let's start to actually create in our lives what it is that we have experienced in our internal world, right? If you're watching tarot, you're probably having some kind of an awakening or have had an awakening, and it just fascinates you, right? It's like, what is all of this on the other side of this box, right? So it's, it's, it's a fascinating aspect. If you will point your mind in the direction of your intuition, you will be able to create your heart's desires in your life according to your path and your purpose, right? Because the point is not to desire something that isn't in tune with your guts and your intuition, your soul, your ancient soul from way back in the day, hanging out, trying to point you in the direction that you're supposed to go, right? So it's important to make decisions in your life based on what that is inside of you, okay? Okay. And the emperor says, take that, take that understanding, take that, that knowing and create something solid in your future with it. Don't, the world in reverse in the center of the reading, right? Don't repeat the same cycles, the same old bullshit that you've done year after year after year. Take control of yourself. Stop resisting, stop dragging your feet, stop not being inspired, put some effort into truly listening to what it is that's going on inside of your chest, okay? Because that's going to be where you feel your intuition come from, not your head. Your mind you will hear, your chest you will feel, okay? Build your future based on that because that turns the wheel of fortune in the upright. That allows the, the, the portal and the pathway for the universe to get in there and stitch it together the way that it's supposed to be. But, it, but they can't do that for you if you aren't participating. They just can't. Okay, take control of your life, take control of your future to death in reverse and embrace this personal transformation. Embrace this new era, this new chapter, this new phase of your life as we go into the new year with a little bit of pep in your step, a little bit of hope in your heart, a little bit of peace in your soul. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's the problem here? Well, well, well. The problem is with all of these reversals here is that whomever this is for is not understanding, okay? This, whoever this is for, is actually in denial of this. Um, perhaps this person... I just want to say, you know, if you got ambition and focus and, and, and the wherewithal to want to do something for yourself, but you're drinking all day or doing drugs all day, um, that you're never going to get anything accomplished at all. I mean, I'm all about whatever kind of recreational whatever anybody wants to do. However, there is a time and a place for that, and you must focus on the task at hand and that stuff gets in the way of the focus okay yeah i know some of it makes us more creative some of us makes it makes us more relaxed but you got to you got to you got to do this sober okay whoever i'm talking to out there you're going to have to do this sober and there is no other way around it okay so get your shit together and do it. Do it. Okay, 
for everybody else, all right? In denial of your lack of desire, okay? And that is, it is, it is rooted in the devil card, which is talking about your flesh nature, okay? Your flesh nature. Let me work this out. I'm going to explain it. Your flesh nature, the five of cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment. But this is a guy that is maybe unappreciative of the two that are still left. And he is consumed in this energy of... Um, like I'm such a dumbass, right? I'm just I'm just such a dumbass. Why did I do this? I'm such a dumbass. Why did I do this? But he's not realizing that he still has two left. You know, he lost the wine in the cups, but he didn't lose the cups. So, I mean, it was a loss, but it wasn't that big of a loss. But anyway, justice in reverse. Injustice and the king of wands in reverse. Talking about loss, a lack of confidence, egocentric, self-centered, because that is what egocentric and self-centered narcissistic kind of people are. They're, they're deeply insecure at the root. Deeply insecure at the root. Interesting. Let me see about this. Strength. And the three of cups, three of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Okay. So that's what this is about. All right. So, okay. So, so, so not feeling any kind of pep in your step. Okay. No kind of pep in your step. Thinking about uh, ruminating in that four of cups. Okay. Just ruminating on shit. And, um, Universe says, pull it together with the emperor, right? Pull it together with the emperor. Um, you are stuck in a place of all talk, no action, undelivered promises. And that's the root of the downtroddenness of the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Princess of Wands in reverse, okay? So downtrodden, stuck in this energy um, um, about investing some kind of effort into something. That's what it is. All right. Got it. Downtrodden about investing some kind of effort into something. And as long as you stay like that, the universe can't do what it needs to do for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Queen of Swords in reverse. Hold on. cold here today and it's hot coffee and it's great okay queen of swords in reverse this is um two things okay this is your bitterness your saltiness salty salty with the queen of swords in reverse okay salty salty um it's also a little bit of denial what's the denial about well the devil the devil um Hold on, the devil, there's two messages in this pile of cards, okay? The devil to the five of cups and justice in reverse, okay? So if you need some kind of validation that the universe understands that there was some kind of injustice committed against you, you got it right here, okay? Major arcana, justice in the reverse, injustice. But it's also a card about not being in your best interest and doing something that's not in your best interest is by default not not good for you, right? What's not good for you? The five of cups ruminating in the loss, the regret, the despair, and the disappointment of this injustice is an injustice for you. Holding on to this bitterness right here is an injustice in your life, okay? King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, sure. Some egocentric, self-centered asshole, asshole S, probably did something terrible to you and it hurt you and it changed the course of the way that you think about everything. Okay, King of Wands in reverse is also about a lack of success. Perhaps you've had lack of success in past experiences, whatever this is for you, and it is feeding into your lack of desire to participate at all. Okay, all right. How do I know that? Well, strength. Um, you need to be strong. You need to overcome. You need to have the courage to step over this issue. 
to the three of pentacles in reverse, right? A lack of teamwork, a lack of collaboration, a lack of getting together, which is the sadness or the lack of interest or the lack of effort that wants to be put forth towards something because whatever this is, you couldn't do it in the past. So it's like, it's like, why would I do it now? Okay. Reiterated by the Princess of Cups in reverse, um, this is a lack of desire to emotionally connect. This is an inability to emotionally connect. It's wounded feelings, hurt feelings, um, submerged feelings that just add to the apathy of the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Princess of Wands in reverse and the Four of Cups. Apathy. Just, uh, just apathetic about everything. Okay. Okay, it's followed by the world in reverse. This is a blockage in the center of your reading, right? This cycle, this probably long-standing cycle of your apathy to engage somehow, some way with something, um, is a is a blockage. It's old. It's old news. It's stale. They need you to have an internal purging of the bullshit that is occupying real estate that 2024 with the Wheel of Fortune wants to bring into your life. So let's clean house. Let's clean house in January and February when it's cold and dark outside still. Let's get ready for the growth of the spring, okay? What do you got to do to clean house? Well, you got to figure out what it is about yourself that makes you apathetic to engaging in something. Maybe it's the public at large. Maybe it's an individual. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's going back to work. Maybe it's having to change jobs. Maybe it is a marriage. Maybe, like I said, it's a relationship or another person of some sort. Somebody here is just so blasé about everything that the universe is saying that you need to pay attention to what you're doing here because there's shit that needs to get accomplished that we can't do without you. So let's, let's chop to it. Chop, chop. Okay. To the chariot in reverse right there, right? A blockage. It, it, the chariot in the upright is about putting in the self-control, the willpower, the determination that needs to be put into a situation and doing it, getting the chariot to go by putting in willpower, self-control, and determination. That's effort right? Your effort makes the chariot go forward, but without your effort, the chariot doesn't take you to where you need to go because you're in a repeating cycle and a blockage in your life. Princess of Cups in reverse is clarified by the Hierophant in reverse. This is a card about a reevaluation of your belief system. It also reiterates that you had a bad experience and maybe you got fired, maybe you got divorced, maybe you dropped out of school, got kicked out of school, but you had some kind of bad experience in the past. And that adds to the, like I said, the reiteration of everything else, right? And you're kind of stuck in that with the world in reverse. Just, well, I should go this way, right? Just counterclockwise over and over and over again, right? Okay, this is clarified by the Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups is telling you that you need to heal this whole situation so you can be in a position to effectively participate with what 2024 needs to bring into your life, okay? The world in reverse is clarified by the lovers in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse. Lovers in reverse is about... Um, Maybe some of this saltiness back here about where a relationship, a significant relationship of some sort didn't work out for you. Um, lovers in reverse is also um, it ties to the, the apathy in this top row up here, right? Which ties to the blockage of the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, okay? Um, the lovers in reverse is also about um, frequency. Everybody always thinks that it's just like love because they think in this boxed in 
human way, right? The lovers being lesson six of the major arcana is about frequency. The frequency that you put out is the frequency that you attract, okay? Just physics. What you put out is what you attract. And that's what the lovers card is really about. And the lovers in reverse is about low vibrational frequency, um, and that goes back to the same old bullshit, the same old stuff, the same old saltiness about something that, that you don't really want to put any effort into. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Seven of Swords in reverse says it's time to break free from that futile mindset. Two of Swords, because you're at a crossroads. You are. You had a crossroads. You only have two choices in a two. You are either going to change the way that you think about the situations and circumstances that are happening in your life, or you're not. And if you don't, you're kind of on your own because the universe doesn't have your participation. But if you do, the universe wants to open it up and pour it in. And they will as long as you don't take the reins back. When you take the reins back, the whole thing comes to a screeching halt because they're not going to go against your free will. And when your free will retracts from the path and the purpose of your soul in this lifetime, then they have to let you because it's your free will. Okay? Crossroads. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I have a feeling some of the people that this might be hitting with are broke and perhaps they just don't have some kind of motivation to go get a second or a third job maybe. But the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is about, most importantly, it's about a waste of time. It's about your efforts are not creating what it is that you want them to create. You're wasting time. Three of Wands, you need to begin to look into the future and see and understand that this is a self-imposed waller that you've dug for yourself right here. And you need to stand up and look out into the horizon and realize that, that, that there's a lot coming for you, but you have to participate. Okay, what's coming for you? Well, the Ace of Cups, okay? Could it be new love? Yeah, sure. Sure, it absolutely could. But the most important thing about this Ace of Cups is your own personal emotional growth. Where does that emotional growth come from? Just like the Knight of Cups, it comes from a reevaluation of what it is that you're believing about life, about love, about marriage, about relationships, about work, career, school, money, finance. What are your belief systems? Because what the universe is trying to bring into your life, the, the, the cornerstones of where you're standing right now aren't strong enough. So you need to take some inventory. Ace of Cups to your emotional growth, to the chariot. What I tell you back here, your effort moves the universe. Your effort opens the portal, clears the way, gets rid of all of this bullshit so the universe can beam down to you the situations, the circumstances, the resources, and the opportunities for you to do what you need to do. For you to do what you need to do. Ace of Swords in reverse. You don't see clearly right now that the root of your discomfort in your life, temperance in reverse, is, is inside of yourself. Temperance in reverse is, is a lack of peace. It's a lack of peace. Temperance is about the four elements that make up the human nature. The mind, the emotions, the desires, and the sense of well-being. Mm -hmm. And when temperance is in reverse, you're kind of leaking out the bottom and there's like really, a, a, it's not as full as it could be. But you don't see why. And why is because you're wallering in this thing that is done and over with already. Eight of Pentacles says, work on it. 
Work on it, work it out, compound your lessons from the past, put your focus on building your future. Let's build, let's build, let's build to judgment. Make a conscious cognitive decision that all of this stops right here, right now, today. I am no longer going to not allow myself to feel good or excited about something. I'm not going to turn up my nose at relationships because I got bit in the ass once or twice. I'm not going to turn down that job because it doesn't pay exactly what I think it should pay. I'm not going to waller in my self-pity maybe anymore. That's judgment. And guess where it leads you? It leads you to the princess of swords and the fool. It leads you to new seedlings of thoughts in your mind. It leads you to a new direction, a new beginning. And more importantly, the fool is about a leveling up of your spirituality. That's why it's zero, right? It can go anywhere in any of the lessons of the major arcana. Because it's a, like an aha. It's like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. Let's go. And you step off the cliff. It is about following the direction that your intuition is leading you through life. Because that is the path of your soul. And that is the purpose of your life. Is to follow the path of your soul. It's a leveling up. Why is that that for you? Because after listening to this, now you know what to focus on and get out the way so the wheel of fortune can usher you into the next 12 months of your life. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's see. Temperance in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. The fool. Right on. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep doing it the way you've always done it, you're going to continue to get it the way that you've always gotten it. Eight of Wands, change. Change. Go in a different direction. Change. And the Fool again. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. Freedom from this situation. Turning the world car in the upright, the chariot in the upright, the wheel of fortune in the upright. And saying, say la vie to the past. Focusing on on the future. Two of Pentacles, prioritize this, balance this. Six of Wands in reverse. If you don't, if you don't, if you, if you don't, you're not going to have success because you don't have success in some way now. And if you keep doing it the way that you're doing it, you're going to continue to not have success in whatever this is for you. The Moon in reverse, come to terms. Come to terms with the big, huge, internal struggle. Eight of Cups. And walk away from all of these. Eight, again, is a number of movement, right? Walk away from all of these emotions that are just wasting your time and your effort. Nine of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. And the High Priestess. This is about healing, okay? Because this Nine of Cups in Reverse and this Ten of Cups in Reverse is directly related to all of this stuff that happened over here with the injustice and everything, right? And what the High Priestess is saying is heal, child, heal, heal. It's time to heal. Understand that you have an eternity yet to live. That same old soul that was here back in the day same old soul that's going to go into the next eternal journey of your life is the same soul that lives inside of you right now. So, acknowledge it. Follow it. Let it lead you and guide you. And it is doing that will change your vibration. It will. It will change your vibration. Stop vibing with low frequency, low vibrational, flesh-based humanness. And begin to see your life as a soul journey instead of a hundred-year box. Some of this stuff doesn't even matter. It just doesn't even matter. It just doesn't. Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, know. Know that you know that you know that you have purpose. You have purpose. And if you will listen, you will discover what that purpose is. 
to the Prince of Swords. Point your mind in that direction to the King of Swords in reverse. Hmm. I'm going to ask about this. Tell me about this King of Swords in reverse. Why was that on the bottom of the deck? The King of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Okay, yeah, that's where you need to go from, right? You need to go from being salty, angry, and possibly in a state of denial, major, huge wall up to the Nine of Wands and fight the good fight. Be resilient, persistent, and put in effort, King of Pentacles, to pull yourself out of whatever this whole situation is and, and be successful and be secure and be successful. Tell me about this King of Pentacles just a little bit. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Yes, look. Page of Cups. And then and only then, look to the world, then and only then will you be in a position where you will be able to engage and function with what the universe has in store for you in 2024. So, clean house is the, I, maybe I should make that the title of this reading, right? Clean house. It's time to get things in order because there's big things, huge things coming in your future. Huge things coming in your future. And I ask, I'm going to ask, what is, um, what is this beautiful future for Taurus right here? What is this beautiful future for Taurus right here? What is this beautiful future for Taurus right here? Look, Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. What is this beautiful future? Anything you want with the Nine of Cups. What do you want? What do you want? What else? What is... Oh, look at that. And the King of Pentacles. Success, security, possibly a mate. What else? What else? What else? What else? The hairpin. Yep, 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 yep. Some kind of, some kind of, some kind of significant something, something's coming at you in 2024, Taurus, and they need you to be ready. They need you to be ready, willing, and able. And you got to get rid of anything inner purging. Get rid of anything that is still lingering because it does not matter. Okay, it may have mattered at the time, but it doesn't matter now. It doesn't. It's time for you to push forward and uh, step in to this beautiful, beautiful future. Hope that helps someone out there. Namaste.